This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Stanley Fillard. In this week's broadcast, World Adventurer Day is celebrated at the conference and church matriarchs are honored for their commitment to Christ. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. In the Seventh-day Adventist community, boys and girls from around the world celebrated World Adventurer Day on May 20th. Under the theme, A Wonderful Journey, the adventurers rose to the occasion and took over leadership roles in their respective churches. The children led the congregation in praising and worshiping God through music, drama, and prayer. The children also addressed important topics such as salvation and Jesus' second coming. They encourage those present to continue to be witnesses to family and friends so that their loved ones can also enjoy the gift of eternal life in Jesus Christ. A special investiture service was held for seven adventurers and five pathfinders at the New Providence Seventh-day Adventist Church. Pastor Jamal Franklin, South Bahamas Conference Youth Director, conducted the investiture service and distributed special pins to honor those who made the commitment to follow Jesus Christ. During a special appeal, adventurers Olivia Tucker and Baronique Ferguson made the decision to be baptized. In the afternoon, over 100 adventurers and club directors gathered at the Good News Seventh-day Adventist Church for a joint service. Throughout the service, the adventurers were reminded to be followers of Christ and go wherever He leads them in faith. The children presented a special demonstration of the life of Paul and his journeys as a missionary for God. During the honor hour, the adventurers had the opportunity to complete assignments to achieve the honors in the adventure curriculum. World Adventurer Day is to take place every third Sabbath of May so that adventurers can be a part of the worship service and show their ability to minister to their church and their community. In a heartwarming ceremony this past Saturday, May 20th, the Paradale Seventh-day Adventist Church honored members for their exceptional contributions to the church and the community. Honorary Sister Norma Ramming has been an esteemed member of the Paradale Seventh-day Adventist Church for many years and is known for her unwavering faith and commitment. She has been an inspiration to generations of believers in the community. Her tireless efforts in promoting spiritual growth and fostering unity among the congregation have left an indelible mark on the church. Sister Theodora Hanna was also honored and recognized for her service in various roles, demonstrating a deep passion for sharing the gospel and serving those in need. Sister Hanna's selflessness and dedication have been instrumental in the growth and success of the church's outreach programs. In addition to honoring these outstanding matriarchs, the ceremony also celebrated the ordination of Doris Johnson as an elder in the Pairdale Seventh-day Adventist Church. Elder Doris has shown exceptional leadership skills, an unwavering commitment to the church's mission, and a deep understanding of spiritual guidance. Her ordination represents a significant moment of recognition and empowerment for the women within the church, reminding us that we all must work for the kingdom of God. President of the South Bahamas Conference, Pastor Kenny DeVoe, was the invited speaker for the day. In his sermon, he said that leaders must be committed consecrated, and in communion with God. He also highlighted the importance of prayer. Somebody said that prayer is surrender. Surrender to the will of God and cooperation with that will. So, Pierre Dale, are you cooperating with the will of God? Are you listening to what God has in mind for you? The Pairdale Seventh-day Adventist Church community came together on this momentous occasion to express their gratitude and admiration for these remarkable women and their contributions to the church. The event was filled with joy, prayers, and heartfelt tributes highlighting the impact these individuals have made and the importance of their continued service. After this commercial break, we will have more on what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists invites you to the 2023 convention from Friday, May 26th to Sunday, May 28th, under the theme, Empowered by Christ, I Will Go. 
The Friday and Sunday services will be at the Hillview Church beginning at 7 p.m. The Sabbath worship experience will be at the Bahama Convention Center beginning at 9 a.m. This year's convention promises to be a transformative experience featuring guest speaker Dr. R. Clifford Jones, Dean of Theology at Oakwood University. Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity to connect with God, brothers, and sisters in Christ and deepen your spiritual understanding. Join us on this incredible journey of faith and discovery. And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference, the Inter-American Divisions ASI Convention will be held in Montego Bay, Jamaica. All persons who are interested in going are asked to call 556-0492 or email the Bahamas ASI chapter at asibahamas242 at gmail.com. La Senda de la Vida is celebrating their 10th year anniversary under the theme, A Decade of God's Faithfulness. The celebrations will begin June 14th. Pastor Jamal Franklin will be the guest speaker for Sabbath on the topic, Be Strong and of Good Courage. Sabbath evening will be a time filled with songs of praise and a love offering will be taken in aid of La Senda's educational fund. Come and join Hillview Church as they celebrate the 50th year of independence during the month of July. There will be a praise and worship segment, a speech competition, a showcase of the islands, music extravaganza, a health expo and blood drive, an art competition, and so much more. The Hillview Church will also be hosting a This We Bohemian Praise Song competition. The deadline for submission is Sunday, June 25th at 12 noon. On July 1st, the top two nominees will perform their songs live at a special Bohemian AY service. For further information, you can contact Brother Patrick Wilson Jr. via email at cellcom242 at gmail.com. Feel free to visit the South Bahamas Conference website at southbahamasconference.org to receive more information on all of our upcoming conference events. There, you can also view a rebroadcast of our Adventist News Update along with other local programming from our cable channel, ATV 658, read the weekly logos, as well as the Adventist page from the Nassau Guardian. Pre-diabetes is defined by higher than normal blood sugar after eating or fasting. This is oftentimes a result of insulin resistance. Persons with pre-diabetes are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. More than 80% of persons who are pre-diabetic do not know that they are. Early detection and intervention with lifestyle changes can prevent or delay type 2 diabetes and other illnesses. Number one, eat more fiber-rich foods such as beans, legumes, and whole grains. This helps you to avoid overeating and the crash of consuming high sugar foods. Two, be careful with portion sizes. Make more space on your plate for complex carbs and vegetables and be wary of consuming simple sugars. Three, consume a healthy amount of water daily. And four, get up and go. Exercise is very important to keeping the body healthy and causes the body to convert sugar into energy. This has been Michelle Green with your health tip, courtesy of Adventist Television. And remember, God wants us to prosper and be in good health. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. Students at Athleton Adventist Academy in Columbia, Maryland, USA participated in Go Green with ADRA to commemorate National Arbor Day. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency launched the Go Green with ADRA initiative to inspire young people to learn about the benefits of planting trees for more sustainable and livable communities. Happy birthday, dear Adra! Happy birthday to you! We 
are doing the tree planting because it's Adra's 40th year anniversary. So 40 years of service um, around the world. Today, um, me and some kids are planting trees all around the campus um, to liven the campus and to help with um, oxygen, shade, and other places. It's important for us to uh, work with our, where, the community where we reside for uh, the children and the students to understand the value of the small things they're doing at home and how it impacts global impact, especially with climate change. We had tree saplings and the saplings were inside of the buckets so that the roots would not dry out while we were planting the trees. We had kids from three years old up to 17 years old, plus the staff and the other support team. But I think trees are something that everybody understands. And so I was able to relate that to some of the work that Adra does around the world and how we're planting physical and metaphorical seeds of change in the communities where we work around the world. First, you need to dig a big enough hole to fit all the roots. We had quite a few Adra folks, um, staff members come out. Uh, I needed 10 group leaders to serve. My name is Katie, and this is my daughter, Lily. We are so happy to be here. My favorite part of the, this activity was to interact with the children. It was amazing to see that they enjoy planting new trees. The buckets are for watering the trees after we're done. Pretty much just making sure the trees have a head start so they're healthy and moisturized. The soil is moisturized. We love ADRA, what ADRA does around the world, uh, globally, helping to make the world a better place, making uh, tough situations, looking at challenges, and coming up with solutions for sustainability. And that's something that, as a school, we love opportunities where our students are able to partner with hands-on. It's always enjoyable to see kids try to work with their hands, because many of them don't really get that experience. That's my old school, my alma mater, so you know, Go Green for Adra. Uh, one of the teachers here, uh, we grew up together here too. So having Danny here was really good that a lot of students here will, you know, look up to him maybe and want to do that or pursue that later on in life. I appreciated that Adra came to our school to help us plant trees. So now the campus will be prettier in the springtime. And the things that we do, the different ideas we come up with that we engineer to benefit the environment is all an integral part of STEM education for all grades. And also for spiritual growth of our students as they see that how, what they're doing is impacting God's creation. Um, to prevent weeds growing around the plant and um, siphoning all the life from it, then you need to make sure to put a protector around it so the tree doesn't blow away or break. And so animals can't get into it either. So the challenge was that whichever group was able to plant their trees successfully, most quickly, would get to paint Pastor Frank's hair green. I think it's wonderful that in 20 years we'll have this uh, wonderful row of red buds uh, welcoming people onto our campus. It is our desire that we continue to connect with ADRA to be able to provide experiences that connect our young people to the real world. Well, that's it for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. To share what is happening at your church, please email your news stories and upcoming events to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist news along with other programming, and to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, visit our website at southbahamasconference.org. The SBC Media Network's Facebook and Instagram pages are filled with lots of material from the communications department, so you'll want to check those out and remember to subscribe, to like, follow, and share. You can watch and listen to programs from our radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, and our Adventist television channel, ATV 658, to get updates, insights, and first-hand information from the SBC Media Network as it happens. The programming from ATV 658 can also be viewed on the South Bahamas Conference YouTube channel, so feel free to watch a recap of our Adventist news there. On behalf of our production team, it was our pleasure bringing you tonight's news update. I'm Stanley Fulord for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath. <laughs>